The New Stroke Protocol and NYC SLAMS Evaluation. In this video, we will demonstrate the new pre-hospital protocols for the treatment and transport of suspected stroke patients for EMS providers. Before we discuss the scenario, we will review the Pocket SLAMS card, which will be issued to all members who receive this training. On the front of the card, you will notice a quick reference to the stroke algorithm. We will review the back of the card later on in the scenario. EMS arrives to patient. If a new neurological deficit is found, administer oxygen, check for and treat a finger stick blood glucose of less than 60 mg per deciliter. If the neurological deficit resolves after treatment for hypoglycemia, transport the patient to the closest appropriate 911 receiving hospital. If the patient has a new neurological deficit and a finger stick blood glucose of 60 mg per deciliter or greater, proceed to the NYC SLAM stroke evaluation which includes facial droop, arm drift, speech deficit, and grip strength. If the patient has a score of 0 to 3, transport the patient to a primary stroke center. If they have a score of 4 or greater, check for exclusion criteria. If no exclusion criteria is met, transport the patient to an approved thrombectomy stroke center. If the exclusion criteria is met, transport the patient to a primary stroke center or to an appropriate emergency department. Let's review what we just learned using the stroke triage and transportation algorithm in the following scenario. A BLS crew is being dispatched to a call for a 50-year-old male who is confused. The family states that he is not behaving like his normal self. Upon arrival, a family member directs the crew to the patient. The crew begins with their initial assessment and treatment of the patient. The assessment reveals that this patient may be confused or experiencing a stroke, so the EMT administers oxygen and uses a glucometer to measure finger stick blood glucose level or FSBG. If the FSBG is less than 60 mg per deciliter, treat for hypoglycemia. If it's 60 mg per deciliter or greater, proceed to the NYC SLAMS evaluation. Please note. Patients who are known to be diabetic and have a blood glucose reading between 60 to 80 may still be experiencing hypoglycemia, and if they display such signs and symptoms, should be treated accordingly. The assessment reveals that the FSBG is greater than 60 mg per deciliter, so the crew begins to assess the patient for a stroke with a new NYC SLAMS evaluation. The EMT begins by assessing for facial droop. If both sides of the face move equally, facial droop is absent and the score is zero. A present finding is if one side of the face does not move as well as the other side, and the score would be one. In this scenario, we do see facial droop, so the score is one. Next, the EMT will assess for arm drift. If both arms move the same, or both arms do not move at all, arm drift is absent and the score is zero. A present finding is if one arm drifts down slowly compared to the other arm, and the score would be 1. If one arm falls rapidly, the score is 2. In this scenario, the patient's arm did fall rapidly, so the score is 2. Next, the crew will assess for speech deficit. If the patient uses correct words with no slurring, this is a normal finding, and the score is 0. An abnormal finding is if the patient slurs words, uses the wrong words, or is unable to speak, and the score would be 1. In this scenario, the patient's speech is normal, so the score is 0. Now the EMT will assess for grip strength. If the patient squeezes both hands equally, then the score is 0. A weak grip is if one hand has a weaker grip than the other, and the score would be 1. If one hand cannot grip at all, the score would be 2. In this scenario, the patient is not able to squeeze with one hand, so the score is 2. Document the scores for each of the four components and the total score in the PCR narrative or PCR pre-assigned fields if available. For this scenario, the patient's score is as follows. Facial droop, 1. Arm drift, 2. Slurred speech, 0. Grip strength, 2. The total is 5. Patients with a NYC SLAM score of 3 or less shall be transported to a primary stroke center or appropriate ED. Patients with a NYCS SLAM score of 4 or greater 
where no exclusion criteria has been met, shall be transported to an approved thrombectomy stroke center. The back of the pocket SLMs card will serve as a quick reference for an online medical control consult and presentation. Here's an example of a call to telemetry for a transport decision. Hi, telemetry. This is EMT Ramos on 60 Adam, CAD number 0405. We have a 50-year-old male with left side weakness that started about one hour ago, witnessed by a family member. Vitals are blood pressure 190 over 100, heart rate 88 strong and regular, respiratory rate 20 full and regular, finger stick blood glucose 77. New York City S Lambs score is 5, with 1 for facial droop, 2 for arm drift, 0 for speech, and 2 for hand grip. We are requesting physician approval for transport to the closest thrombectomy stroke center. Please note, when it is determined that a patient is going to be transported to a primary stroke center, the crew shall transmit a notification via dispatch. When it is determined that a patient is going to be transported to a thrombectomy stroke center after telemetry approval, telemetry shall provide the notification. An expeditious transport of the stroke patient is crucial for a better outcome. On-scene time should be minimized to 15 minutes or less when possible. This and other training related to the new stroke protocol can be found online by navigating to nycremsco.org forward slash LMS. We hope you found this video to be helpful. Feel free to contact the FDNY Bureau of Training EMS Academy for any questions or comments. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.